Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Out here, look at this beautiful road cut. Look how big that is. So, I am in Northeast Washington, right outside of Kettle Falls. And actually, that's Kettle Falls right there. And there will be, of course, a GPS pin to this exact location. Uh, but this is a spot that we've gone to before, and I wanted to show you well, some of the neat material that's here. And I'm here to look for a very specific piece for, uh, well, for a display that I have going on. And it should be a lot of fun. Let me flip this around and show you what we can uh, pick up here. So this location that is about three blocks away from kind of downtown Kettle Falls. You can see we got this huge cliffside. Who knows what's up there? Really what I want to focus on is some of the very interesting sulfide mineralization that you can find here on these rocks. Now the reason... I want this is because it's very uh, UV reactive stuff. Um, and it looks really, really cool under the UV light. Of course, it's way too bright out here right now for me to show you, but uh, we're gonna be collecting some pieces here and we'll take it home and check it out. Look at this right here. That almost looks like some kind of zeolite, actually. You can see all throughout this stuff, like this right here, that's going to have such a cool glow under the UV light. Here, check this out. Uh -huh. yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Don't have to usually... Uh, Deal with train sounds in the video. Look at this right here. Wow. I haven't seen anything like this here before. That's like a... quartz-lined vug, almost. It's like a, some kind of seam. Huh. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I should have brought some newspaper. I like that. That's pretty, that's a nice little piece. This stuff right here, you can see all this, all these little crystals in this. It's almost like some type of zeolite, but I'm not exactly sure. You know, zeolites are one of those things that's very difficult to really um, be able to, like, identify, you know? And this stuff's obviously really loose, like, and crumbly, like... I just kind of broke that apart, but it can still be uh, very cool. Look at that. Yeah, that's cool. That'll uh, that'll look really good. Let's uh, take that and we'll take this. This boulder right here. Probably, oh, yeah, a little over three feet. You look in here. There's all kinds of really cool crystallization happening. Some piece that somebody just left here or just naturally kind of broke off. But yeah, like the whole thing, you know, it's all, I would love to come out here at night with the, the black light and just see what you can see out here. It'd be so cool. I mean, there's so much to check out, but that implies that I'd have to be out here when it's dark and well, this isn't exactly close for me, you know? Well, I don't know where this came from from up there. Or if it was put here by someone. But definitely got a piece... Oh, that's heavy. Got this piece of serpentine here. You can see that glisten. There we go. Yeah, that's serpentine. That's your classic Stevens County kind of blue-green serpentine. Serpent serpentinite. There you go. Huh. I got no use for that. I got plenty of that and I got some really nice pure stuff, but it's, that's here. You know, all of the other times that we've been here, it's been like in the middle of summer, it's been hot and miserable and I uh, didn't really spend a whole lot of time just kind of poking through the material here. Um, you know, and, and just so you know, I mean, it's always good when you're working in places like this, right, to uh, keep your eyes and ears open for things coming down but 
Yeah, huh. So there must be some uh, serpentine up there, which I guess, sure, why not? That's not unheard of. So I'm not 100% yet. I would have to really do some verification work, but I think that this white stuff that you see out here is aragonite, um, which is like a calcium carbonate. I'm not 100% on that. Um, you know, it's one of those things where you really, you really kind of need a microscope. So I'm going to try to find a, a good, lo good little piece out here to uh, take back for investigating. Maybe I'll take this. That kind of uh, kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, I got oh less than a gallon of rock. It was a little two-gallon bucket, uh, which that makes me happy. We got some cool samples that I think are going to look excellent, excellent under the black light. Well, let's take a look at some of what we found here. So the rock out in that area is Permian metasedimentary rocks. So these are like, you know, in that 300 to 250 million year old host rock. So we're talking about this stuff right here, not the stuff on the outside, uh, which, which is very cool. Um, there'll be a, a photo slideshow here at the end, which is always fun. Look at that. So we have a lot of stuff going on here. Um, I feel like uh, there's obviously some zeolite. You know, zeolites are kind of hard to identify. It's really something that you need um, a microscope for. And while it feels like a lot lately, I keep uh, coming up against that where I'm like, ah, I don't have a microscope. Um, we've got some different sulfides happening. Very cool stuff to see. I like these, just the, the shape of it all. It's very like a conglomerate in nature out there. Another little piece where you got that like zeolite structure. Um, there is also some quartz crystal. Nothing too amazing, nothing to really write home about, you know? And then, you know, there's just kind of like some standard quartz out there. Uh, on this rock right here, you can kind of see the host. And then uh, we have this white stuff, which I, I believe I believe is aragonite, um, which is a calcium carbonate. So you got a lot of really interesting stuff happening there. Um, all very cool. So now uh, the fun part of looking at this material with... Here, let's do that. Looking at this material with the black light. So the black light that I'm going to be using today is the UV Beast. It's a 365 nanometer light. Um, it is difficult, of course, to show uh, the UV reaction on camera sometimes. So uh, I will also be inserting some, some photos of that. These do have a pretty good phosphorescence. So, you know, the UV light is accept, uh, making the electrons jump orbit into a different light spectrum. And then as it holds that glow, the electrons are falling back down into orbit. So let's hit the lights and we will look at some of this stuff glowing. Check that out. Very cool stuff to see. The piece in the back, I think, is really good. We can look at, uh, how about this guy up close here? Forgive the glue on the tape on my gloves. There we go. Check that out. That's awesome. Uh, it's fluorescing this, like, bright uh, bright white, which is really nice, versus the um, host rock. So, um, I, you know, it's a, it's a fun little spot. It's right in Kettle Falls. And, uh, well, you know, that, that's always neat to have something um, very quick and easy to access. And uh, I have some cool pieces for 
my collection of UV reactive rocks and minerals. I'm going to uh, build a really nice case here in the future, but right now it's uh, it's not really a dedicated display. So um, thanks for making it to the end, everybody. I appreciate it. I uh, got a lot of great stuff planned for this summer, so stay tuned for that. And, uh, you know, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. You can go to the main channel page. We got over 200 cool videos just like this. Take care.